Before you can edit anything, you must have something selected. In this video, you will learn how to select designs and parts of a design. It is much easier to tell exactly what is selected if you view a design in design view and not artistic view, which is a realistic preview of stitches. In both of these designs, we're looking at artistic view. You can change the view by going to the view menu and clicking on artistic view. You can also change the view by using the toolbar icon called show artistic view. Still another way to change the view is to use the letter T on your keyboard. T is a shortcut key and will toggle between artistic view and design view. The selected objects will show as bright pink when you're in design view. Selected objects in artistic view will have a pink outline around them, and it's a little bit harder to tell when something's selected, especially with certain colors. It is also important that you understand the difference between a group design and an ungrouped design. If you click on the design and all of the design turns pink, it is grouped. And I'm going to ungroup this design. And if I click on an ungrouped design, I will only select part of that design. The Select Object tool is the selected tool by default, which means when nothing else is activated, you will be able to use the Select Object tool and select part of the design or the entire design just by clicking on it. If I have another tool selected, I can use the escape key and that will deselect the other tool and now the select object is the tool by default. If you want to select a single object from a grouped object, simply hold down the alt key and click on the part of the object that you wish to select. If you wish to select a single object from a grouped object, hold down the alt key and click on part of the design that you wish to select. Of course, you can always ungroup it first, but it isn't necessary to do, and sometimes ungrouping is not a good thing, especially if you're a beginner, because it's easy to click and drag something away. So Alt key is usually the way to go. To deselect an object, just click outside these black boxes and the object will be deselected. You can also drag a bounding box around an object to select it. So I can click and drag, and when I release my mouse, everything within that bounding box will be selected. You can do the same in a grouped design, but you'll have to hold down the Alt key to select that individual object. To select multiple objects, hold down the Control key and click on the parts of the design you wish to select. In a grouped object, you'll have to hold down both the Control and the Alt key, and then click on the parts of the object you wish to select. If you wish to select everything on screen, of course you can just click on the group design, but in an ungrouped design, you can use the shortcut key Control plus A, or you can go to the Edit menu and select All, and that will select all the objects. Another quick and easy way to select is through Color Film, and I can select on a certain color chip, and all the colors within that color chip will be selected. If I want to select a range in Color Film, I can click on the first color that I wish to select, hold down the Shift key, and click on another color chip and all the objects in between those two color chips will be selected. If I have a complex shape that I wish to select and the bounding box isn't easy to do to select just parts of a design, there is the Polygon Select tool and I can click around in and out between an object and when I press the Enter key, only that object will be selected. Sometimes objects are on top of objects and it's hard to get the part that you want. If you are wanting to select a layered object, hold down number two key on your keyboard 
and click and continue to click in the, without moving the mouse and you will get the layer that you want. Now that you've learned different ways to select, we'll learn about editing that selected object or design in the next videos.